King News, my wonderful people. Ah, our very brothers, they are Tito. Yes. Ah, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu tells, tells uh, Atiku, I have been working with Northern leaders. Step down for me. That is Tinobu to Atiku. Said he has been working with Northern leaders and um, they both should look at things more critically and is advising Atiku to step down for him. You know, promising him a lot of things that um, if he steps down, there is a lot of benefit. Is Atiku going to step down? Is Atiku willing to step down for Tinobu? Remember that um, Atiku, Tinobu has given Atiku a platform to contest for president before. And um, both of them now are on opposing side, looking out for the same seat. You know, when you go for this children's party and they put down five chairs and six people are to go around the chairs. So this is exactly what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I have been working with Northern leaders. Step down for me, Tinubu tells Atiku. Presidential candidate of the ruling of Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, has asked the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, to step down for him ahead of the February 2023 presidential election. Tinubu stated this while speaking at an interactive session with the Northern leaders under the aspiration of the Arewa Joint Committee on Monday. He said, I was one of the youngest strategists with Shehu Musa Yaradua. I started here in the north. Atiku met me with Yaradua after he left Nigerian custom freshly he, he met me strategizing for yaradua ask him he knows tinubu asks atiku to reciprocate the gesture he accorded him when he contested for the presidency under the diffuse action congress of nigeria acn in 2007. the apc presidential candidate recalled that he dropped his ambition and endorsed him atiku for president the committee compromise, compro, comprises of the Arewa Conservative Forum, ACF, Northern Elders Forum, NEF, Sa Madubelo Foundation, ABF, Arewa Research and Development Project, Jimat Arewa, had invited some presidential candidates for the interactive session in Kaduna. The program, which started on Saturday, was attended by Alaji Atiku Abubakar, candidate of the People Democratic Party, Kola Abiola of the People Redemption Party, and Adewale Adeboye of the Social Democratic Party, SDP. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, Peter Obi of the Labour Party, attended the event in Kaduna yesterday, which was Monday. The meeting, according to the organizers, was part of the wider interactions with selected presidential candidates to discuss their plans for the region ahead of the 2023 general election. Konkoso declined the invitation. So this is what is happening. Uh, people have attended the same uh, meeting. So this is part of what is happening now. So, you see, this is what we're talking about. Presidential candidates and everybody is particularly, you know, trying to woo people and get Nigerians to be, you know, on their side. But Nigerians, what are we doing? We have to be careful. We have to be ready. We have to have a mind prepared on which of the presidential candidates you, I, we are supporting. If we don't have a set mind, they will come with their manifesto. Remember, cleverly written and script out for them by some people. And they will come bamboozling us on every side why we should vote for them. And if you're not careful, you don't have a set mind, you're not ready. They will take advantage of you. And at the end of the day, we find ourselves in what we call back to square one. So if we truly, really want a change, in any way at all, if we want Nigeria to become a better place, every one of us must work at it. 
you know, every one of us must do all we can, humanly speaking, possible to bring Nigeria out of the present predicament. Remember that you and I have got a duty. Yes, we've got a duty to be careful, cautious of the presidential candidates we are voting for. We cannot sit back, pretend that all is well. We know that the country needs help like yesterday. The nation is in dying need of direction. We are where we are right now because we don't have leaders who could possibly channel the course of this nation. And so if we want that narrative to change, we need to have vision, leaders that are visionary, intentional, they love the nation, and they want to make a difference. Other than that, we are back to square one. And so the days upon us are days where every one of us must begin to look at things more critically and ensure that at the end of the day, we all are ready to take the bull by the horn. We all are advancing, we're moving forward, and we are doing all we can, humanly speaking, possible to bring Nigeria out of the present predicament so that at the end of the day, okay, we can, you know, we can make things, we can make a difference out of what is going on currently right now. We have been in this very position for a while. What are we doing to ensure that, you know, we, we change the course of the narrative? What are we doing? How we, how we, how we, how, how come we came this far without any form of direction? And if we want to make the difference, we just have to begin to relook at things again, reevaluate things, and ensure that at the end of the day, we all are making tangible progress that could possibly bring us to the desired destination that we desire and we need. We need that so badly today, so badly. See, see how things have been. You can't even travel to another country without being scrutinized. You will have to go and take a visa, and there is so much with the visa requirement. At the end of the day, every one of us, you know, we are the same position again and again, and um, you know, we are looking out for, you know, a better life. So people are looking out for opportunity to travel, to move, and that's why it is important that we begin to pay attention greatly, serious attention. Remember. You and I have this duty. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice.